I made the beat. I was like, oh, ooh, this is really nice. And then I did my verse almost immediately. You showed me the verse and I said, okay, if I'm gonna- <laughs> You told me to get out. I said, get out of the studio <laughs> so I can do my verse. Yeah. Cause I'm gonna have to snap on this cause you snapped. Yeah. Tell me what you know, bottom motherfucker out the bottom of the gold girl gleam and make all these hoes problems. We got the gold tee right after Southside Suicide Tour, and we got actually got some real money. I wanted to come in with a little flex, you know? Talk about the gold tee, talk about the swagger, stalker, creeping out the fucking dungeon, switchblade on him, hit the guts like a pumpkin, dumping 30 rounds off the cup, off rip. Too thick with the stick that I won't miss. I always got a lot of dark shit on my mind, you know? I got a lot of problems. Anxiety, panic disorder, addiction, you name it. So it's like, draws me to this dark place. And that's more of a description of that side of me. Just also, uh, you know, to kind of being a product of my environment where I grew up. You know, seeing people with guns and, and, and shanking people. I got shanked myself when I was 12. It, it, was, it was a regular thing. A little slick, real sick, don't talk shit. Whip, whip, like a brick scale on fish. That's like an ode to my drug days, drug dealing days. User, abuser, seller, suicide, nighttime. No, we don't fight crime, oh. It's a great five nine with the real red eyes. Gonna be dying inside, oh. Grade five nine, it was started like 10 years ago. We have a highway in my city, it's called Highway 59. And everybody on the east and south side of Highway 59 was always clicked up, always had problems with the people from the west and north side of Highway 59. But it wasn't, it wasn't no gang shit, it was more like a, a brotherhood type thing. And that's why we wanted gray to be the color, so it, it's neutral, you know? And then five nine, that's like police code for criminal mischief, stuff like that. Bodies in Florida, I let the rope untie, just crucify me. Young Christ for a slice, couple of hoes on ice, screaming R I P. That's me being a sick fuck. <laughs> I'm just a sick fuck. Ruby was a motherfucking reject, then I cut my wrist and now I motherfucking bleed checks. My whole life being rejected by Girls being rejected by cooler kids than me, being rejected by really everybody that I came in contact to in contact with in my life, I was rejected by somehow at some point in time. To this day, I don't have friends in New Orleans really. When I became a suicide boy and made a pact with Scrim is when stuff started really working out for me musically. And that's why I say after I cut my wrist, I started bleeding checks because after I became a suicide boy with the imagery of suicide, I started making some money and actually achieving things. Still broke, after all the motherfucking weed gets rolled, hoes asking if I see a ghost, tell them no I just seep smoke. When the weed's blown, she choke from the deep throat. I'm a pothead, who, who through. smokes more between the two of you? Me by far. Um, but yeah, I'm basically telling this girl, I'm smoking with this girl in the living room and then she's asking me if I see a ghost. I'm like, no, that's just the amount of fucking weed I smoke. Three feet the rope, lead those, lay the fucking sheep so evil. With Suicide Boys, we use a lot of imagery of referring to your normal people that conform to everyday modern society as the sheep. Uh, but we also use like double imagery and call our fans the sheep too, because they're like part of our flock and we're their shepherd. In this case, when I say I'm slaying the sheep, I'm talking about killing all the conformity in the world, but I'm also saying like sacrificing all of our fans so they can be, you know, dead like us, I guess. I don't know. I'ma hang myself and then I get to see home, Rue, be a fucking demon, hey, uh. I say it's because I'm a demon, home is hell, you know. Ruby got that cult now, hoes trying to bolt down. Ruby the result of a reject from a small town. Turned into a demon, I'm evolved now. Loud growl, snow leopard on the prowl, hey. So it's basically just like taking the idea of being like, you know, a cool cat. Like, I'm a snow leopard, I, you cannot fucking top a snow leopard. Like, I literally live in the snow jumping from ice cube to fucking <laughs> ice cube. Like, hoes trying to bolt down, like, no girl ever wanted to fuck with me before I was a rapper, now they all wanna fuck with me. I just think it's, like, I hear you, Mike Jones, I know what you're talking about. Like, back then they didn't want me, now I'm hot, they all on me. Stay the fuck back, ho. Slay the whole pack, ho. Paint the glow black, ho, Hey. Basically just saying fuck the world. You know, you ever 
watch or you hear in the news the last fucking few days, just things that happen, you're just like, man, I really hate the situation that we live in. I don't know. I just sometimes just want to say, fuck the world, and let's paint the globe black. Soon I will shed this skin, turn to the devil, then I'll never reminisce. As in like one day I will be fucking done with it, and as soon as I am, I'm, I'm, it, there, we, there might be problems. I don't know. You know, like somebody just that goes postal type of thing, you know, and I'll never look back.